Hey YouTube, Arbiter G. Vadim here. And today I have um, something pretty cool I ordered on the internet called uh, United Nuclear or www.unitednuclear.com. It is um, uranium ore, actually. Perfectly legal, a uh, very small amount of radiation output. It is radioactive, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Now, it's uh, the counts when it was first measured was 500 to 2,000 counts per minute. And uh, so I thought I thought this was really cool. I ordered this first, and I after I got this, I got really into radiation and all the measurements for it, microsieverts, metal rem, or is it micro rem, and counts per minute, of course. So basically, this little guy with my... Uh, well, with paper, it's, like I said, registered 500 to 2,000 counts per minute. And then it also has not just uranium, but it's got carnite, which is yellow rocks, uranite, and that's the uranium, gummite, pitchblende, and uranophane. Uranophane and pitchblende, I'm not too sure about. And then right here, it says where it's from. And then this is all the uh, safety precautions, stating that it is completely non-hazardous to handle with your hands, just don't ingest it, which I haven't even opened the vial and I'm not going to attempt to anytime soon. So, after I got this, I figured, hey, you know what, um, let's look on it, the online for some Geiger counters. Well, unfortunately, if you ever looked online, crap tons of Geiger counters are very, very expensive. They range from 400 to $700. So I was like, okay, well, that's never going to happen. Today, I'm going to show you the little scapegoat for that one. And there's a company called uh, GMC, or GQ Electronics, sorry. And this is the their GMC variant. This is the one after the 300s, 300E. There's a, I could have got the 320, but I didn't. I more did more research than 300E, so and it's a great little Geiger counter. I love it. It's, it's very, very sensitive. So, here we go. Let's get this away so it doesn't start beeping. Okay, so... This is the box it comes in when you first order it. So it's got the cool little sticker. Open it up. And now it has a CD so you can uh, use the data logging set or the save content or data uh, setting on the Geiger counter and plug it into your computer later. A uh, little disclaimer about that is it only works on Windows 7, XP, or any earlier version. So that's the little disc you can put in for your USB driver. And then we have the little, this is the car that tells you all the information to basically get the uh, programs off of. And this little guy is the Geiger counter itself. So on the internet, this is ranging from about $135. And then plus shipping and handling, it was total $155. So it was a really good deal. Really good deal. Um, it works great. It actually has the tube in it. You can kind of see later on. But, um, so, I'll let this, let's let the puppy turn on here quick. Hold the button down. GQ Electronics. So basically it's telling us counts per minute, microsieverts, and total counts. And then it just goes dark, but yeah, so... It's going to start picking up, yeah, that clicking is the uh, background radiation, which is kind of cool. Every once in a while, normal house is around 15 to 20 counts per minute, so if you're sleeping or whatever happens, then boom, you know, it's just normal, 15 to 20. Don't worry about that. 30 is normal, too. A little unusual, but it's normal. So, back to the basics. The um, main reason I got this was for the uranium sample. I wanted something to test it. So I didn't, you know, I knew what I was messing with. And so, it's rated about 500. Now obviously that's with, uh, most likely, a CDV 700 with a pancake. Which is, those are pretty cool, sensitive little uh, radiation meters. It's alpha and beta emitting. This one only does beta and gamma. Um, so what it detects is beta and gamma. The alarm threshold is set at 30 counts per minute. Just for the fun of it, because I love the alarm sound. So here we go. And see the counts. Okay, 
And there's the alarm hitting. It's about 33, 34, 36, 37, 40. So it's, it's, pretty, it's going up pretty well now. 41. And this also does, like I said, mic receivers. So it's 2.1.21, sorry. Ah, this camera sucks. But yeah, it's a, it's a really cool little instrument. Very, very reasonable price. And I believe the GMC 320 is just a more... It's a bigger system for data storage. There's really nothing different in the sensitivity of them. But if anyone out here, all you big radiologists and and go-getters for nuclear, well, this is the... Uh, like I said, the site again is www. Uh, GQ, G is in guy and Q is in quota. Electronics and then dot com, and it, you'll find a bunch of these guys on there, and much more radioactive and circuit boards. So, yep. And then for data logging, sorry about that. Oh yeah, comes with a little nice USB charger, uh, car charger, 12 volt to 5 volt, and then it comes with a pretty little cover for it, which I actually have used. It works really well. And then, then the wall charger. Now this thing is just um, it's just a regular phone charger, basically. Now the only problem with this well, actually, hold on. Let's turn this guy off. Let that guy turn off here. Turn it off. You just hold it down. So the only problem with this, with this on the internet, um, a lot of people are mentioning in the reviews and product about it, is it's a horrible charger, it doesn't work very well, um, and it's, it's cheaply made. Well, when I first opened the box, the pins were kind of bent, but I've never had a problem with it. I actually use it to charge my phone as well. I've tested it on my amperage meter, my electrical meters. And it, it does the job fine. It's still got around uh, 1,000 milliamps, which is plenty, plenty uh, DC. So it, it's I've never had a problem with it. People always say that they're having constant problems with this stuff, but uh, nope, I, I'm pretty good with it. So like I said, if you're looking for a nice little doomsday prepper Geiger counter, this is definitely the one to get. Uh, unless you want to go big and get the 320. Which is, I mean, that's just forty-eight dollars, and that's not including shipping and handling. Uh, with this one, I actually got it through USPS on their two-day priority mail, which was awesome. Uh, it was actually part; it was actually two-day. So, I now trust UPS when it comes to two-day priority mail. Ground, I don't know about, but. And then I do advise getting the if you do get one of these, get something to test it with, whether it be a little isotope you can get on the internet, um, or a uranium sample. Uh, this goes for about ten bucks, so it's really it's really not bad. And then they have a little six dram vial that goes for about twelve bucks. And then they got uranium doped marbles, which are really cool too. So yep, any questions? Put them in the uh, comments, and uh, that's about it. So hopefully you guys get these guys, and they're they're great. I mean, I've a lot of some people have reviews on Amazon that they're bad and they don't work well and they're not sensitive. No, they work great. This thing has a lot of potential. So, yep, that's it. Thank you for watching.